What is up, Booty Tribe? It's your girl Najee here, and I am back with another video. And this video is going to be about what I wish I would have known before I big chopped, as well as some things that might just be like personal for me that went down that might not be a reaction that other people will have when they big chopped. But yeah, sorry, I know, I know, I know. I promise you guys it was either gonna be a skit today or a story time, but having my family down here has really just thrown my whole schedule out of whack. So next week you guys are gonna get a skit early in the week as well as a call center story time sorry okay and there is another call center story time movie coming out most likely gonna come out in november but i'm sorry okay i know i promised something and i didn't fulfill my promise okay i'll acknowledge that sorry my little puff is uneven bitch get even what is that okay there we go now we got a nice little nice little so yeah, if you've never seen my face before, hey, I'm Nadja, okay? I know videos like these usually get new people flowing over here that aren't subscribed to me. I'm Nadja, my hair used to look like this, now my hair looks like this. There was a point in time where my hair used to look like that, and then I cut it to get it to look like this. Now, I big chopped the second time because the faux hawk style was just, my hair was just grow. it was growing fast, it was growing unevenly, like the top was growing really fast and the back was just growing oddly, so I was like, you know what? I'm just gonna cut it all off and just have it all grow evenly out. So yeah, that's where I am right now. Now, when I cut my hair, I immediately was like, girl, you look like a boy, what did you do? Like, to be so fucking blind, that's exactly how I felt. I'm about to take these glasses off. I keep getting like a glare with the ring light. So yeah, I was immediately like, girl, what did you do? Like, what did you do? <laughs> like you're all bitch and like it was so like this cut is so uneven and so bad that i was like i'm just gonna go bald like fuck it i'm just gonna go bald because it's not a perfect you know there's some ridges and stuff up here and yeah but i talked to my boyfriend about it he was like no you look pretty like just chill like you're tripping i be tripping sometimes i trip a lot but yeah and um i just looked up online some hairstyles that i could do with my hair at this length and there are a lot so that's one thing that might just be for me but other people might go through it too you did not make a mistake if you decided to do it it's gonna take some time to figure out what to do with your hair at this length I just don't want to be that person that always tries to put a wig on top of my hair like I actually want to wear my actual shortcut so I started going out in public more with my short hair now these are some things that I wish people would have told me before I make chops for one people are gonna look at you like 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 confused because they don't know if like okay is this girl sick or now look that's just the vibe I get from people like they just be looking at me like what happened to this girl was she sick did she have to cut off her hair like what what's going on like what's going on i also noticed that i get another thing that they don't tell you um i also noticed that i get stares from women more like women be staring at me like i went out with my mom and my grandma today to trader joe's and there were a few girls kind of looking at me in like a, a sexual way and i'm just like then you guys know me I don't mind that but it was just weird because you know back when I had long hair and I, I looked very very feminine um with my long hair I didn't really get looks from girls like that but apparently this this shortcut is just just giving off um butch vibes I don't know but yeah you, you're gonna get attention from women <laughs> some of you guys might like that some of you guys might not I'm pretty indifferent towards it I don't really mind um another thing that I wish I would have known is Okay, so I went out like a few days ago. No, it was yesterday. I went out yesterday to go to the liquor store and I pulled up my ID to give to the guy so I can purchase my alcoholic beverage, okay? And he kind of looked at my ID for a long time and I'm just, I'm thinking it's because, you know, I look young. Like I, I look very young in the face. A lot of people when they subscribe to my channel, they still think I'm a teenager and I'm 22, okay? but. So I'm kind of used to people staring at my ID for a bit to look at the date and then look at my face and stuff, but he just kept looking at it, then looking back up at me, then looking at the ID, and then looking back up at me, and he's just like, 
bitch is this your id like that's what i know he wanted to say but at the same time like i hinted on before it's that whole uh, i don't know was she sick is that why she had to cut her hair like what's going on it's kind of touchy i mean uh, like obviously we i have the same face yeah um so yeah that's a thing <laughs> Another thing that I did not know before I big chopped was that it, it could get a little cold. It could get a little cold up here. Now I do have some hair. Like I know if I were to go completely bald, I would, I would be freezing because it's very, it's cold up here. And like when I run water through my hair, it's just so much more intense now. Like I've never big chopped in my whole life. Like, this is my first time ever cutting my hair like this in my whole life. Like my hair has always been long. So I'm just used to, being hot to be honest like I had so much hair that I would legit be hot in the summertime like I'd have to wear buns or protective styles all summer because I'd be so hot so now that having the polar difference of being cold yeah it just kind of caught me off guard like, look I'm in the house wearing a goddamn sweater like I'm cold <laughs> I cannot wait to do finger waves with my hair so that it doesn't look so uneven i'm low-key tempted to cut more just to make it even but i just i had to keep the scissors away from myself that's another thing they don't tell you when you big chop you're gonna want to keep chopping and chopping and chopping and chopping some more and chopping some more and chopping just a little bit more like it's addictive like even when i had my hair in the pixie cut i was just like like i'd wake up in the morning be okay all right all right maybe we can just a little like it's a non-stop obsession kind of it's like once you get that taste of freedom when you cut it all off the first time it's like you just crave that freedom again <laughs> to just keep on chopping away i guess another thing that um i did not know before i did a big chop is that people are gonna want to touch your hair but like you know when you have natural hair people are gonna want to touch your hair regardless but when you have short hair they want to do this like your their son they're gonna they're gonna want to do this okay i'm talking adults children old people okay it doesn't matter what color you are and what you believe in you're gonna want to do this to my head for whatever reason i didn't like my hair being touched when it was long and i don't like it being touched when it's short if i don't want you to touch my hair don't touch my hair as simple as that that should be for anybody that like that should just be a known right i can't really think of much else that i didn't know before I got it because I kind of already knew what I was walking into. Oh, another main thing that I always get is people that are used to seeing me with long hair just act like I've just done the worst thing on the freaking planet. Like they act like I've ruined myself for life or something because I cut off all my hair. Like people are so dramatic when I cut off all my hair and it's just like, it's my hair. Like it's not on your head nothing bad's gonna happen to you because i cut my hair hair grows back like it's not the end of the world it's not like i tattooed my head like my hair is gonna grow back at some point my family's reaction to my hair has been positive like no one said anything about my hair everybody thinks it looks cute or whatever i i'm still growing into it i'm not really used to it honestly like when i had the pixie cut i was still like in my comfort zone but i'm still trying to get used to having like this low of a haircut and um yeah but my family's response has been really positive i'm not gonna lie it took me a while to be comfortable going out with my hair like this like i you guys know i have a lot of wigs and my goal was to try to be confident with my hair this short and not rely on wigs so much so i've just recently stopped going out with with wigs all the fucking time just because i'm not comfortable with my shortcut yet but before, like when I first did it, wigs, like wigs, like keeping the wig on because I don't know, I just wasn't confident in it yet. I, I just wasn't because I went out when I first did it and I noticed like the stairs and the, the stuff and the ID situation. I was like, it's just stuff like that was happening. So I was like, you know, I'm just gonna keep on my wig and then I could wear my little low cut at the house. But then after a while, I was like, you know what, fuck it. I'm going out with my little haircut. So now I am going to be doing an FAQ portion. I posted something on Instagram asking you guys what answers you wanted to some of um, your big chop questions that I can 
answer for you guys so just give me a quick second i'm gonna go and get my phone all right so i'm pretty sure that some of these have already been answered already and the post hasn't been up for that long but i'm gonna just go for it okay oxy wang asks do you want to keep your hair short or grow it out again i do want to grow it out but i want to keep it short for a few months like, i want to grow it out but i'm most likely just going to keep on cutting it to keep it short but i mean shit, i don't know i just i've had long hair for so long it's i i'm kind of just over it zaria dot underscore dot 13 asks does your hair go through an awkward stage after the big chop yes like as you guys can see some of my my curl pattern is different on different sides of my head like it's just it does grow in kind of awkward, honestly. Vanessa Dot saw asked, do you regret cutting your hair sometimes? Um, no, I used to in the beginning, like I said, but I'm kind of just used to it. Melanin Dot Mermaid underscore asked, since you did your big chop, which looks bomb as fuck, thanks boo. Are you going to keep it short? P.S. You don't look like a little boy. <laughs> I don't look like a little boy. I look like somebody's aunt, uncle or some shit, but no um yeah i answered this too I'm, I'm gonna keep it short for a little bit yeah loin princessa asks would you do a biotin challenge biotin doesn't really work for me when it comes to my hair whenever i take biotin it always makes my fingernails grow really fucking long like it doesn't do anything for my hair i don't know why but yeah it just doesn't work for me Silly Lapata asks, is it harder or easier to wear wigs after the chop? Oh, bitch, it is so much easier. When I had hair, I had to braid my hair down and it was just a lot. And then you guys know me, I'll, I'll wear a wig for like a day and then I'll take that shit off. So it's like I had to do all that work with my natural hair just to lay a wig on. But now that my hair is this short, I just put the cap over it and do what I gotta do. So yeah, definitely easier. Rican Bruja asks, has your hair care routine changed after your big chop? Love your videos. Thank you. Um, yes and no. It mainly changed because usually the detangling process takes forever and all that shit, but now it doesn't. So it, if anything, the routine is the same, but it just takes less time. Boogie Maki asks, has your hair shown more growth after getting rid of the unhealthy parts? Yes, like when I did my pixie cut, my hair was just growing out of control. And even now my hair is just growing in random places. So I guess I'm in the awkward stage right now. Kilani underscore asks, how did you determine you needed a big chop? Was it texture, style, lasting time? coiliness bounce from the camera it looked healthy but obviously you know your hair and it's health uh, i do feel like my hair did get healthier because when my hair was longer especially when i did a wash and go towards the end when i put all that box dye and shit on it like it really wouldn't stay curly for more than a day and then it would just be like frizzy and shit like my hair just looked dry as fuck before so yeah i think my hair is healthier the texture is different um styling i'm trying to work on some styles i'm gonna do some a uh, finger wave tutorial tomorrow and it'll be up next week so i'm gonna be doing it for the first time and hopefully i fucking wing it but hopefully it's not a fail either way i'm still gonna post it chi chi underscore the musician asks are you ever going to color your hair again and do you want to keep your hair short for a while or do you want to grow it really long well i answered the last question but I do want to color my hair, but I'm going to do safer methods. Like I said in like two other videos, I bought this um, hair wax that colors your hair without bleaching and all that stuff. So I'm just going to go that route if I want to color my hair from now on instead of adding bleach and box dyes and shit. Ian Mia asks, did you feel relieved after cutting it and why don't you get the non-relaxed finger waves? I felt very relieved cutting it and just the fact that it just didn't feel as much of a dramatic moment as I thought it was going to be while I was cutting it like just made it even better and um yeah definitely going to do finger waves like I said. <laughs> Alright guys so that is it for this video um sorry if it wasn't that long or if it was too short uh let me know any tips and tricks what I could do with my hair in the comments below I really appreciate it. And um, yeah, let me know your Big Chop stories in the comments also. I, I would love to read them. And yeah, that's about it. I'll see you guys next week. Bye.